he never disgraces himself and he always honors his word why does he say in first peter chapter 2 verse 17 honor all men love the brethren fear god honor the king honor all men who is man is it not god all the brethren are god god is a human being who is the king he is a human being that is the reason if you do not honor and serve man you do not respect god and you do not believe in god this is not the era that you should keep on boasting that god knows your heart that you really love him at the same time you hate quarrel fight and then you profess that god knows your mind at the moment who knows himself it is the father who is passing through and doing every work the father constitutes water blood and the spirit when the medical doctors examine your body have they found god in you if the native doctor injects sounds and black powder into your body does he see this god all the scientists the occult masters and astronauts have they seen this god that i am revealing to you today all of you sitting here and in the whole world is there any person that has seen this god inside himself it is said that he shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free if the whole world would no more indulge in sins they would be able to conduct themselves as gods you would be able to say like our lord jesus christ said i and my father are one have you not heard that statement until the end of the world but the world has no end they say world without end people believe that god destroyed the world of noah i am saying that god did not destroy the world of noah noah and his family were saved were they not water blood and spirit if god had destroyed all the people in the generation of noah god would no longer exist that would bring an end to the world this lecture is greater than all of you you are in the elementary school some are in class one or class two these lectures are meant for the great intellectuals of the world golden text first john chapter 5 verse verse 8 and there are three that bear witness on earth the spirit and the water and the blood and these three agree in one have you now seen the trinity god you sitting here are you not these three properties when god is on earth he is the three persons the blood water and spirit there is no other form god can take in the world apart from water blood and spirit whenever you see a human being do not ask again about god that is god before you you own yourself but you do not understand what is within you anything can manifest in your body at any time and you will not know there is another person living inside you that is greater than you that is the reason sometimes you may make up your mind to carry out a certain assignment but you cannot do it it means that the father has not signed it why is it that when something happens everybody will congregate together with different ideas and opinions so that the situation may be corrected but at the end all their plans and ideas will fail it is because god was not there when the father is in heaven three things represent him that is the father word and the spirit when he is on earth he is represented by the water blood and spirit since we are looking for god with pride and arrogance we cannot see him 
You believe that God is in the sky and you vow never to worship a human being. Have you gone to heaven to see God there? You can see how ignorant human beings are. They keep on looking at the sky to see when our Lord Jesus Christ will come back. Christ, when he was nailed to the cross, did he not say, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit? As soon as he said that, the spirit left him. When that soldier came to check whether our Lord Jesus Christ was actually dead, he pierced through his side with, with a spear and water and blood came out. These three properties, water, blood and spirit, prove the deity of our Lord Jesus Christ. T tell me, which human being that has this wisdom in the world? God has no other form than water, blood and spirit. The fact is that you do not believe in him. He said, let us make man in our own image. The trouble is that you do not worship God, neither do you respect anybody because you cannot worship a human being. When you are beating somebody, how do you know that you are not beating God? Do you push God aside and slap that person? When somebody is hungry and you do not feed him, how do you know that you have not denied God food? If this, if this house begins to leak and you do not repair it, it will affect the person who lives inside. That was the reason why when God had created man, he said, let your food be vegetables and fruits because he knows that fruits will supply blood and water to the body. Then God said, let the water bring out fishes, animals, etc. These are his body. Man attaches importance to eating meat, fish or other things not ordained for food. What drives water and blood from human beings is fornication. When you are intimate with a woman, at that one second, the small sperm which will pass into the woman is equivalent to the quantity of blood that will sustain your life for 50 years. Now that women cannot do without sexual immorality and likewise men, when the blood is exhausted, they collapse and die. Then they attribute the cause to witchcraft or juju and other causes. If a man or a woman stays without being intimate, which each other their blood remains pure and they will not taste of death the wine that you drink the medication that you take defiles your blood it is exactly as if you bring fresh palm wine from the tree and add water to it you have adulterated that wine you have heard that adam lived for 930 years the reason is that after eve had three pregnancies adam prayed to god to remove the desire for sexual intercourse from him they live as brothers and sisters from then on that was why they lived for 930 years in your own case you jump from one woman to another when the blood in you is exalted, you drop dead. The snuff that you take dries up the blood from your body. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwells in you? Whoever defiles this temple of God will be destroyed. You defile the temple of God when you do not believe that God dwells in you. As a result, you begin to drink, smoke, fornicate, tell lies, 
and live an abominable life. For this reason, the Spirit leaves you. All these buildings that you see are only to reveal God's work. God dwells in you and he will never abandon you. He said, I will not leave you comfortless nor forsake you. Why did our Lord Jesus Christ order Peter to feed his sheep? Who are the sheep of the Lord? They are human beings. How does he care for them? It is by imparting all the teachings Christ gave to him to human beings that they should not adulterate the body of Christ by committing sin. Any person that does not believe that he and God are one, that he does not exist alone, but with God is a child of perdition. Do not say that you are God, but that you and God are one. Have you not heard the statement that I and my Father are one? This means that you are one entity with God. It is said that when God is in is here on earth, three things are used to identify him. That is water, blood, and spirit. Have you not found these three things in you? It is the Trinity God that you have been hearing about the water and blood are has power but it is the spirit which controls what has caused all the confusion in the whole world is flesh and blood this is what induces you to tell lies fornicate steal drink and eat fish both the water and blood know that they are under the control of the spirit this is the reason why you must always subject yourself to the spirit who is supreme. Everybody, even a newborn baby, have this trinity in them. Brethren, anyone who loves God must also love the human being that he can see. What is the work of God? It is to refrain from offending one another because both man and God are one. Never say that you are alone. Wherever you are, you are with God. The water cannot say that it is not spirit and therefore not from God. The blood cannot say that since it is not water, that it is not from God. Nevertheless, the three of them have different assignments. But the Trinity, God, is composed of water blood and the spirit this signifies the presence of god on earth when our lord jesus christ resurrected he showed himself to his disciples and they became afraid because they thought that he was a spirit he asked them to touch him because he is flesh and bone for spirits has no flesh or bone. When, where, whenever you call man, you must always include God. When the words of God are given to you, that is spiritual food. When you eat feast, such as bread, etc., this is to feed the flesh. You are all witnesses that when we undertake the three days dry fasting, by the end of the third day, you become very weak. If you fast for a longer period, the skeleton of your body begins to show. That is to say that flesh has been demolished, but the spirit is still very strong. Do not forget, both of them are one. In the same token, when you steal, fornicate, drink, and indulge in vices, the spirit is affected you have to give to the flesh what belongs to the flesh and to the spirit what belongs to the spirit when i give this gospel it is for the spirit i then in turn give the body food all the material things belong to the flesh while the spirit requires the words of god 
right from today this gospel has opened your eyes wherever you go and people ask you where is that your father tell them that you and your father are one worship god in you do not seek for god in the churches or in the sky worship god by refraining from sins some people say let us go to the Bethel, or i have made an altar there to worship god do not bring such foolishness in brotherhood of the cross and star john the baptist john the divine said and i saw no temple there for i repeat john had said and i saw no temple therein for the lord almighty and the lamb are the temple of it all things come from the father and come out of you so that you and the father are one we must know right from now that we are one with the father if you believe that you are always with the father converse with him at all times and you will never have any problems again it is said that where your treasure is there your mind is if you know that the father is in you and you concentrate all your attention on him you will no longer have problems since your mind is wandering when you go and ministry work you claim that you have forgotten to take the holy oil does it mean that the holy oil is your god even though the father is always with you unless you call him into your affairs he will not say anything remember when the disciples went out in a boat with our lord jesus christ when the boat was about to sink our lord jesus christ was watching them when they called out to him to rescue them all the people in the whole world including the native doctors juju priests and the churches keep on saying that god is in the sky where as god is within you he said call upon me in the time of trouble i will answer you in the time of difficulties call upon him and he will answer you when father when peter called out master master we are going to perish our lord jesus christ stretched out his hands and the sea became calm the father is witness that i have never told you that god is in calabar america or lagos i have told you that god is within you that you and the father are one right now speak as our lord jesus christ spoke when he said i and my father are one from today do not exclude god from your activities when food is put before you call on the father to bless it as soon as you include the father in whatever you do all is well when you remove him you will have problems brethren i do not intend to be tedious unto you it is said that a stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise let all those who have ears to hear let them hear may god bless his holy words amen end of quote in the name of our lord jesus christ in the blood of our lord jesus christ now and forevermore amen thank you father